cruising along here at 9,070 feet, doing 11 knots over the ground. Vegas and uh, just explore the Grand Canyon tomorrow, check out an awesome helicopter ride tonight, just all, all kinds of fun stuff. Dude, when we were eating, I dropped a rib and caught it in between my legs. Oh, that yeah, looks like you yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got barbecue sauce everywhere. They give you the uh, density altitude right there on a little sign to remind you that the density altitude here is 9,300 feet. Let's do it, baby. Tell you right, traffic bonanza, seven hotel pops, departing runway 27. Tell you right. Okay, a little less nose up trim. Yeah, it's pretty much right down the runway. Yeah. So that makes it easier, a lot easier than yesterday. There we go. Go almost full mixture and only in here, we can full power in just a little bit. We have an altitude compensating fuel pump. So uh, in theory, we shouldn't really have to lean it almost at all. But uh, in practice, to get the best power up here, we do need to lean just a little bit. Yeah, so we got 70% of horsepower. There's 65 knots, 1,000 feet down the runway. So yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. There's 72. Keep it nice and straight, get the nose off, and we'll just glide right on off. Keep the nose nice and low. Build some speed here. Now we got 3,000 feet remaining. Let's go ahead and get the gear up. Gears up. Temperatures are all good. And here comes this little drop off here. Oh, I think you can climb over that. Oh yeah, but this is this is so that's so that's cool. That's cool. That is just cool. Wow. And we'll just fly through this little valley here in the climb. This is oh look at that! Imagine having that house. That'd be so cool. Just think of the plane spotting opportunities there. Right. <laughs> See, it's not that hard. If the you know if the wind cooperates, it's really easy like this. And uh, if the wind doesn't, you know you just got to be a little careful, keep the speed up, and. Uh, turns in tight on approach. But it's a, it's a pretty accessible airport. I mean, they have commercial service, or they, they have had commercial service, so you know, it can't be too Sorry, sketchy. Columbia CX-ray, 10 Northwest, landing runway 27. Caution. Jesus. Terrain. Terrain. <laughs> you need to figure out how to turn that down. Terrain. Terrain. Um, let's see what direct Henderson looks like. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty cool little canyon here. If you were driving along that road down there, you would see a fraction of this. Just look how far you can see. You could probably see. Hey, just look at the, even that oh, big yeah. mountain way in the distance. Yeah, that one that's way gotta in the be distance. Miles. Yeah, it looks like that's probably about 100 miles because there's something. Yeah, right there about 100 miles. Right in the waves. They're like, just, how does that happen? You know, like. Yeah. Right. It's, so it's gotta be water. Like, I'm, I'm sure if you get a geologist on board, like they could talk for hours oh, about yeah. this right oh, here. Yeah. You know, got 40 gallons remaining. 40 gallons remaining. Money. The Grand Canyon is just up that way. Uh, this is Lake Powell down here. It's incredible. Like, I just want to go sit down on the water there and go for a swim. Yeah. It'd be nice if you could put floats on a Bonanza. Right. Number 367 Hotel Papa, contact Vegas Approach 125.6 today. Vegas 125.6, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, good day. 8,000. 8,000 speed at wind descent, or uh, descent direct Prino, and descent to 8,000 southwest 916. Southwest 916, expect a visual approach. Potential southwest 916, thanks. 
Las Vegas Perch Bonanza 367 Hotel, Papa 9700, descending with Alpha. Number 367 Hotel Papa Approach Roger, expect 17 or correction 35 there at Henderson. Door cleared to the Bravo Airspace flighting at 210, to center maintain 7000. 210, 7000, cleared into the Bravo, center Papa. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is Lake heavy, 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 so, yeah. Yeah, you go have fun tonight. I'll just sit in my room and eat chocolate. <laughs> Parking for you is just north of the Fuel Island off Taxiway Echo. Tower will direct you where I will be waiting. Okay. Is there an opportunity to take a leak? And FedEx flight. Matt peeing in a plane, part two. I mean, this is something that's much easier than Bonanza. Like, you just oh, yeah. take your seatbelt off, you stand up, <laughs> and you're good to go. Uh, in the 210, the seats are, like, slanted back. You're, like, they're, like, you know, little bucket seats, Over sort of. It's just, it's a mess. Moral of the story, buy a Bonanza, don't buy a 210. I understand there are sometimes reasons that, you know, people, people like different things, I get that. But I think clearly from an objective standpoint, the Bonanza is a far, far superior plane. And I think we'll find that when JP has a chance to really get a good taste of this thing. And I'll just look and out the window. Yeah, okay. and so we should be leveling at uh, uh, 7. Uh, Maybe slow up just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Do you want to climb in the back? I could, maybe. Yeah, I'll climb in the back. Okay, I'm going to be off mic. All right. You got this. All right, got this. Yeah, you got nine minutes. I'll be back for landing. <laughs> BRB. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah, you're good. 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 Yeah, you 119.4, 7 hotel pop, I see it. Yep. Hope Matt's doing okay back there. Smoothed out. I could totally do some zero G's and just mess with him right now. Probably 250 work better. Just get to the south end of the ridge line. That'll make it a decent a lot easier. You got it. Thanks. What's up? <laughs> you did it. You did it, ladies and gentlemen. You did it. for five zero three. There you go. Right, Craig Zelma, and own navigation for 5 3 <laughs> Come on, Matt. Alright, Las Vegas, King Air 381 HR, he's 3,600, climbing to 7,000. Oh my god, this badass is stuck. Liberty 2997. Liberty 2997, Hotel, you can start down whenever you want. Yeah, we're starting to slow set down now, 7 0 thanks. Oh, God. <laughs> Matt Guthmiller, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. That was... That was a 10. Oh, nice. Was supposed to be a 7? Uh, no. <laughs> um... Yeah, see, the nice thing about the Bonanza... You can do that. <laughs> so you can go in the back. <laughs> Just kneel down on the ground. Take your time. Enjoy the view. You got Hoover Dam off the right. I mean, it's, it's a king in paradise. Seven Hotel Papa, turn uh, another 10 degrees to the left for me. We'll get you in the trail with some traffic straight into Henderson from the south. Nice solar farms over here. It's a great place to take a leak. <laughs> and it's uh, Three, one, eight, so much nicer than right, the, uh, two, the 210. Uh, oh, yeah. Zero. 367 Hotel Papa, connect Henderson to 125.1 and let them know you see the preceding traffic there. Good day. 251 7 8 3 one 8 Charlie, contact. Anderson Tower, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Uh, I've got the traffic head in sight. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Edison Tower. Make straight in, runway 35 right. Report a 3 mile final. Straight in, 35 right, 3 mile final, 7 o'clock. Bonanza Hotel Papa, no need for the 3 mile call, runway 35 right, clear to land. 35 right, right, clear to land, 7 o'clock. Forward. Oscar Lima Niner at 3,500. I don't know if we can make that. O'clock. Same altitude, less than one mile. Mooney 1 Lima Echo, the field elevation here is 2,500. Are you saying you want to fly 1,000 feet AGL to your destination? <laughs> nice. Mooney 1 Lima Echo, where is 0 Lima 9 Niner at? And Mooney 1 Lima Echo, is that uh, California, Nevada? Is that southeast, west, east? What direction is that?
Bunny. Who the hell is this? How's it going? Good to see you. You ready to go fly? Mm. Yes.
Okay, so we had a fun little night in Las Vegas. Won some money playing blackjack. <laughs> now we're gonna use <laughs> that. A fun to go. little day. Now, now we're gonna use that to go uh, fly to the Grand Canyon for lunch. You've spent it all already, Matt. <laughs> Air 367 Hotel, Papa, Las Vegas, George, Karen, Altimeter 3009 er to a destination or requested altitude type aircraft. 3009 er uh, we're level 4,900 right now, we'd like to go up to 11.5, we're going to 1 Zulu 1. What was the destination? 1 Zulu 1, it's on the north side of the Grand Canyon. This is pretty awesome terrain. And this is going to get better. 367 Hotel Poppy Road, contact 12 miles southeast of Karen Airport, altitude gates 5100. Clear through the Bravo airspace, no further left than a 080 heading climb to request altitude. Clear on the Bravo 0807. I think we're going to have a nice view again of Hoover Dam. Oh, yeah, there it is. This is insane scenery. Yeah. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, additional traffic to 11 o'clock and 2 miles in direction, altitude 7500. Has the traffic. Okay. I forgot that we're in like the desert now. So chocolate melts. And direct oh, yeah. Reno, Everything melts. Matt has got a melt. Travel uh, direct to Reno, join the load, and then maintain the But actually, because I'm wearing these spectacular clothes from Ministry of Supply, like, like wear the same thing in like every climate up in the mountains in the desert here, and it's like perfectly comfortable no matter the temperature. LA Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompo, 10,000 climbing, 11,500. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompo, Los Angeles Center, Roger, uh, and just first by you are uh, landing at 1 Zulu 1. That's affirmative, 7 Hotel Pop. Okay. What's our ETA? TBD. So this, this Columbia, is the Grand Canyon. 4 0 Charlie yeah. X, I go ahead. Damn. Oh uh, no, I'll just yeah, I mean, this is. System. Incredible. Great, thanks so much. That's the, so that's the Colorado River down there. I mean, actually, this is still part of Lake Mead, I think, technically. But what, air, what airport's this off our right? Off the right, that's uh, One Golf 4, Grand Canyon West. Okay. Peach Springs, Arizona. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, we're only not very far out. Okay, so we're going to this little airport in the Grand Canyon. The Bar 10 airstrip at the Bar 10 Ranch. Sounds like a pretty cool little place. It was started by some guy built a runway there to get people in and out, people in supplies, because it's in the middle of nowhere in the Grand Canyon. And this is just spectacularly stunning. So um, I have to say the Bonanza is uh, pretty comfortable. The Bonanza is uh, pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. I don't like this though. Why? I, I want control. But you have so much space now. <laughs> you have so much room. Like, and I also like that you're like sort of down in it instead of up, because then you can like I don't know. You just got like so much space to set things. It's not gonna like go between the seats and things, or just fall out, um, like my camera did. And one of the so that's why I just I like this setup here because you're just like in your contained your, your uh, yeah, I don't know. But let's uh, we got a, a thousand feet per minute down. So this is basically where we're at. The train around there is like 5,000 feet, so we can go down to that at least. So I think it's just after this next ridge here, before that little that thing hey, there. Hey, good afternoon, oh, yeah. here on the train 940, checking up by the 240. Bar 10 traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pomp is uh, about 9 to the west. We're going to be uh, landing runway 34, bar 10. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get over this ridge, oh, drop the gear and collapse, and just yeah. zoom on down. So the gear down right here. Bar 10, Bonanza, 7 Hotel Pop is 3.5 to the northwest, going to be landing 3, 4, Bar 10. So, okay, they're 4,100 feet, so yeah, so somebody on the ground there. Welcome, Bar 10, we've been looking forward to you. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, getting there. Let us know when you're ready for a pickup. Bar 10, Copter 11, will be lifting off the upper pad at the ranch, and we'll be departing to the south. We've got the uh, traffic inbound for runway 34 in sight. How are you going to do this? going to make a left downward right here. Yeah. Okay, so this is 1,000 AGL. Nice ridges here. I love this. Yeah, 
Yeah, bar 10, and the 7 and Del Pops turn final 3 4. We got the chopper, Traffic, bar 10. 11 o'clock. All right, bar 10, Less chopper 11, and over the lava flow, climbing out for departure back to Grand Canyon. This is pretty sick. Oh, well, now we're getting a little bit of a downdraft. A bit of a right crosswind as well. And then a headwind at the other end of the runway. <laughs> That's mountain flag. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is rad. I would live here. If I, if I had good internet here and a good FedEx service, I'd be great. I don't think they have either. Especially with a plane, because you can just go to Vegas or wherever you need to go. Right. True. Right away. Yeah, this is, this is pretty sick. Some horses. That's sick. So we just landed here at the Bar 10 airstrip. In the Grand Canyon. It was epic coming in. I mean, this is, like, this is basically sort of like, that's the upper ramp of the Grand Canyon. And this is like, sort of down, there's a little lava flow there from volcanoes, like, thousands, millions of years ago, a really long time ago. <laughs> and, uh, this thing is great to you. You guys good to go? Ready. Yep. Terrain. Devil and there's a bird. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Terrain. There we go. Inhibit. Shut up. Okay. So yeah, a lot of things to note here. You gotta watch out for uh, dust devils and all kinds of wind shear down in the canyon. And then of course to get out, we want to follow the uh, downwind side of the uh, canyon and turn into the wind so we have a shorter turn here. So we can make that turn easily. Yeah, definitely got to watch the density altitude and just be mindful of the fact that you're you know, at the bottom of a, a canyon with this mountain over here. So you, a lot of times you're getting some downdrafts through that and just all sorts of crazy swirling winds. And that is the Grand Canyon up ahead. That's incredible. That's so rare that you can get this close. There's actually, we'll go fly over. There's another little strip over there that's dirt. I don't think it's usable right now, but it used to be used by a park ranger that was stationed over there for many, many years. So yeah, this is a uh, just super cool little airport out here, basically right down in the uh, the Grand Canyon. Just some awesome little place right down there. These are all lava flows from 
I don't know, millions of years ago probably, hundreds of thousands, I don't know, really long time ago, that kind of fill in the canyon walls. And apparently this was a uh, pretty frequently used hideout for outlaws back in the 18 and early 1900s. So that's just a lot of cool history here. It's so isolated, I think they say it's about 80 miles away from anything else really. And so it's just an awesome location to fly in and grab lunch. Really quite a nose down attitude. Yeah, compared to a 210 for sure. I mean, part of that too is you just have much better visibility. Right. So like the top of the panel is lower, you're sitting up higher. Uh, the nose, I think, kind of points down even a bit. So you just have much, much better visibility right. compared to the 210. Duck over this way. Um, I want to just fly over this little dirt strip here. To weep, to weep, something like that. Um, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy strip, though. Like, I'll level out here. You see it down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I think it's like in need of some repair. That's super narrow. And, uh, but it was it was used for a really long time. It was a ranger station sort of just down the road there. And I guess there was a ranger there that had, I think, a 172. And so he would just fly in and out of there all the time. But I, I don't know if he retired or passed away or what. And then uh, it's just kind of fallen into disrepair since then. There's some groups trying to get it open, but there's some like land issues. That's the whole Grand Canyon right there. So we just put this in. We can go zigzag around the Grand Canyon through these uh, little corridors here, and then head up to Page. So we'll go send that to the panel. We'll load that one in that I just sent. It's, it's just crazy to think that this was all once, you know, just essentially plateau like everything else and slowly a river and the uplift of everything else over a hundred million years does this. So this uh, just off the left here is Havadagvich Havad Canyon. Havadagvich Canyon. Havadagvich Canyon. That's over here. That's just so cool there how the rim just drops off yeah. straight down. But I mean, but this stuff has looked the same way for the last Know, several million years, like every bit of this, especially out that way. It was just nothing. Right. Just desert. There's the uh, Colorado River, right down there under the wing. Crazy. It's like little castles everywhere. Right. It's really beautiful. It's crazy how you go from like mile deep canyon to pine trees and snow to desert, it's, it's, and it's that's Marble desert, Canyon like, in front of us, which is like right. And look at that, that's proper snow, like that's just, you can ski yeah. on that. So, so this is Horseshoe Bend. That is Horseshoe Bend, yeah.